hi and welcome to our second Christmas EP reaction of the month because today we're reacting to a food cake, the Christmas EP or the holiday EP by Sabrina Carpenter. I'm so excited for this. You will all of you know I'm a Sabrina Carpenter fan first and a human second so I'm always excited to get more music from her and I'm so excited for this Christmas EP so let's just stop talking about it and just listen to it there are six songs and i'm so excited for all of them and we started with anonsense christmas which is the remix of nonsense which he released last year and i love it so much so let's listen to it yet again <laughs> That was announced as Christmas and like mentioned before, it is one we already knew, it came out last year and it was my favorite Christmas song of that year. I mean, to be fair, I think it's the only Christmas song I actually listened to that year. I still love it. It is so fun and done in chic and it's very explicit without being explicit. And I just, I love it. It's, it's a fun, silly old time. And it's fun to listen to again and I'm sure that I'm gonna listen to it on repeat this Christmas season as well. And yeah, let's start with the songs we don't know yet with buy me presents <laughs> that is a banger so like the whole vibe of it is very christmasy and i just oh i had so much fun listening to that and also just like the message kind of being like if you're not gonna treat me right i will find me somebody who will I love it as well, and I love the implication that the somebody is Santa Claus. <laughs> it's a fun time. Of course, Sabrina Sabrina is a queen of a fun time. So obviously, like, I should have known that her Christmas songs would be hits as well. <laughs> but yeah, the next one is Santa doesn't know you like I do. Like it's a little bit heartbreaking, but overall I feel like it's a love ballad. It's about how much she loves her significant other this Christmas and how she knows her more than Santa does, despite not getting the same appreciation from them. But that's what I mean, there's a heartbreaking note in there. But for the rest, I feel like it's a very sweet song. It also gave me very much Ariana Grande vibes, like in the best way possible. I mean that in the best way possible. And Ariana Grande makes some banner Christmas music, so you know, definitely the best way possible. Next is Cindy Lou Who, which I've seen on TikTok and it is a really sad song, so I don't want it. The people on TikTok were right, this is a sad song, it's a beautiful song, it's very short, which typically I'm not a big fan of like shorter songs, I always feel like something's missing. Then how about with this? was a beautiful song, everything that needed to be said was said, and yeah, making sad Christmas songs shouldn't be allowed. Next we have, is it New Year's yet? Again, a bop. How does she keep doing that? Bop after bop after bop with Cindy Lou Wu in between, which make me, it's not a bop, it's sad. <laughs> but this was a bop. Again, more of like a sadder team to be played within the lyrics, but because of like the lyrics, it just, it becomes a very fun, kind of like a bit of a party song. I like it. Never ending on white.
I do really like Sabrina's version. She did a, she put her own into it and she did a little something with it that I really liked. I also did jingle bells at the end. Perfect. And her vocals. Perfect. So yeah, that is the end of Food Cake. A fun little Christmas EP with one very sad song. <laughs> and I loved it. So we know songwriting is just like perfect for Christmas. It seems like the silly goofiness, but also the emotions. Great. And yeah, I know what I'm going to be listening to this Christmas. This entire EP. Because it was really good. Like really good Christmas music. I feel like nowadays Christmas music is like very generic like new Christmas songs I feel like are very very generic and you don't really do much to stand out every once in a while you come across a song but this EP I feel like is very much its own thing like yes it's Christmas and you get Christmas vibes from it the entire way through but I never really felt like oh this just sounds like a generic Christmas song it felt very distinct and very Sabrina Carpenter which I really like and yeah <laughs> that's all i really have to say about it it's fun i'm gonna be listening to it all christmas season i hope you are too but let me know in the comments what you thought of this ep and hopefully i'll see you next time Bye. Bye.